Welcome to Unapologetically Maridike. Hi, hello everyone. This is Usti Usman. Yeah, hello everyone. And he is here in Chiang Mai for how long are you here? For three days. <laughs> so fast? How long will you stay? How much longer? It depends. Maybe a couple of days or a couple of weeks. And you have like a vlog, right? Yeah. I do write, I'm a digital marketer, I do write and uh, I do social blogging, I work on social media. And um, you're here doing halal foods in Chiang Mai? Yeah, I tried uh, a lot of halal food in Chiang Mai, in Night Bazaar. I tried uh, Arabic food, Indian food as well. So I'm searching and looking for halal stuff. Oh, yeah. I about to... So are you going to go eat something tonight? Because I'm ready for dinner and my homegirl's coming. She's from Egypt, you know? Yeah, sure. So we're going to get some dinner on him tonight because he got it for he got it good like that. <laughs> so we were just talking about like how you felt that um, entrepreneurship is one of the most important things that we can do for ourselves because like I said, um, my experience working in companies, I just felt like there was always this box you're not allowed to grow out of. Wait, hold on, just one person, just one person. You you can't advance, but you can. And so I felt that that was really important for me to continue like on that path. Of course, like entrepreneurship gives you independence. It makes you independent in life. It helps you to grow and like if you work in a company, your ideas are restricted to a particular domain. But if you're an entrepreneur, your ideas, you have no limit. Your dreams have no limit, your ideas have no limit, and you keep on flying with your dreams. Yeah. That's true. Absolutely. Do you notice that um, sometimes your friends aren't there as much when you are climbing certain areas? Like, tell me your like how you left your job to start what you're doing now uh, well I can tell you that it's very important in life to know what exactly your passion is unless and until you understand the passion in your life you can't be a good entrepreneur for being a good entrepreneur you understand your passions and then slowly build start building your career and start building and going in. And like when you found, I will do a different video on this and I have this broken down for you guys. Sometimes the audio didn't work so I had to delete it. But um, how I found my own passion is, is its own journey. And just kind of like getting there, I found that a lot of the people around me, what I thought was my previous passion, law, was not there anymore. It was not, the people around me weren't really as supportive when I said I'm going to get up and go and travel to another country, right? Mm -hmm. Do you notice, like, what would you say to speak to those people who, when you start to step into your own light, or you're walking the way of the superior way, what happens? How do you handle the dissolution of relationships? <laughs> well, that's a bit difficult question for me. How do you handle that? But just the... Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, I think the, obviously the self understanding yourself is very important unless and until you understand yourself and you know you you know what's inside you you know what your skills are you can't be disillusioned in life so understanding the self is first far more important in life and this is where your journey begins understanding self and then uh, removing all those obstacles that you face in terms of people, in terms of ideas, and in terms of various things in life. Yeah. It's fun. And I love that. Like, just what I talk about this in a previous video, it says what you want, what's you. And I talk about removing um, or isolating the problem. Like, sometimes it is people in your life, and sometimes it's your location, and sometimes it's just what it, even your thoughts. But isolating whatever that is and then moving and stepping into your own power helps you, I feel, ultimately grow in a way that is most beneficial for you. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. That's, that's how you grow in life, isolating things and uh, like isolating and understanding how things can be like, beautiful for you. These two things need to be balanced. 
the good things and the bad things. You need, you need to isolate the bad ones, bad ideas, bad thought process, and that could help you to grow in your journey. Yeah, but I mean, um, I like that for people who already know what it is. Um, a lot of people that come to me don't know where to even begin. And for them, I just say to really listen to themselves and their, 